Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Liz and I am so happy that you're here because today I'm gonna to be doing a swimsuit review for you and this one is going to be on White Fox Boutique and Frankie's Bikinis which I am really excited for but this review is gonna be a little bit different because I'm actually gonna be taking the swimsuits out wearing them for different activities in the water and letting you know how they hold up what I think of them if they're worth your money before we get into that though, make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below and I'll also have in the description box where you can find me on my other social media, so like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, stuff like that will all be in the description. And I'll also have all these swimsuits down there in the description box too, linked so you can find them if you do wanna check them out. All right, so I was really just thinking how I could make these review videos more helpful for you. Like, yeah, I do a lot of like, sizing and fit reviews, but I really wanted to take these out and put the swimsuits to the test, show you guys how I think they hold up after like a day at the beach doing activities, how I think they fit me and supported me throughout the day, like things that I wanna know before getting a swimsuit. I'm really excited for this. We're gonna start with White Fox Boutique. I got this swimsuit on sale, so it is very affordable. I think the top is like $20 and the bottoms are like 18, so you can get the set for under $40 and the shipping time, I think I ordered it on like a Monday and it got to me on a Friday. So less than a week, which is really good. Um, because I got it on sale though, I was not able to do a return, which we'll get into when we talk about the fit. So if you buy a set, it comes in this little cute bag. I got their iOS bottoms in a size large. Oh, I'll go ahead and put all of my measurements down in the description box too, just so you can kind of compare how it looks on me to how it would look on you, which I really recommend looking at that because the size charts, as we'll get into, are not accurate. So I got this in the Lagoon color, which I really, really like. It's like this gray green color. I love gray. It's just a little cheeky in the back, but pretty much your basic like high hip bottoms. It also has the little deep detail of their branding right there, um, which is a nice little detail. It does have a seam there on the back. It's a very nice, soft swimsuit material. Feels like it's gonna be really comfortable. I got that originally with their Isla top in a size large too, which their size chart said I would be a size large, um, but that's a really small size large, but I got it because it's adjustable in the back. It's really strappy. I don't know what's going on with my straps here. But yeah, after trying it on, it was entirely too small. So I'm not able to do a return on this, but I wanted a top that would go with these bottoms. And let me tell you, before ordering this, I was looking for so many YouTube review videos on like what kinds of tops would be best from White Fox Boutique for like ladies with larger chests. And all the videos that I could find were people with much smaller chest sizes than me or fake boobs, which they all looked fantastic in the swimsuits, but seeing how it looks on them isn't going to help me decide if it would like have enough coverage, have enough support for me. So that kind of just like reaffirmed why I do these videos. So I ordered their Amalfi top because it still has like that adjustable aspect, which I love and looked like it had a little bit more support, more coverage. Um, and I got this in a size extra large. So I sized up in this. All right, so as you can see, this top, I don't, it just doesn't fit. It doesn't look good on me. Um, I do really like the adjustability in the back. I think that back strappy tie is really cute, but like this scoop neck is just so weird on this suit. So yeah, this style top is just not it. Um, the bottoms though, I love the bottoms. I think they fit me perfectly. I love where they come up and sit on the hips. They offer just like cheeky coverage. And yeah, they're comfortable, they're flattering, and I'm glad I got a top to actually go with them. Okay, so as you can see, the extra large fits me so much better, and it's also just like a different style of top. The scoop does not go as wide or as low as the other one. Um, the strappiness, I think, is really cute. I love that back. These are just like very thin straps, but they're very, very stretchy, and because they're like doubled up, I think that makes it a lot more comfortable. So yeah, this one feels a lot more secure. I love this color and it feels like it's going to be functional. It feels like I'm gonna be able to go out and like do activities in it, which I mean, that's what you wanna be able to do in your swimsuit. And I mean, as far as swimsuits go, I do think it is like mid price range. There is a lot of stuff you could get a lot cheaper, but it's pretty good, especially being that you can get different size top and bottom, make it fit for you. Frankie's Bikinis is the next brand, and I ran into some sizing issues with Frankie's too. Their swimsuits are on the 
higher end um, as far as price and things, a set is going to cost you between like $160 and $200. So yeah, they don't really have a sale page or anything. Um, so these swimsuits, I'm expecting them to be like amazing. You know, like if you're investing that much money in them, you expect the very best. I was so excited to order from them and their size chart they have online, it's kind of cool um, and not very accurate though, but cool that you can like type in what your measurements are and it'll shoot out what size you should get. So the bottoms that I picked out were their Shea bottoms. This is their fuchsia color. It's a very soft ribbed material. Feels like it's gonna be super comfortable. The inside is like a silky material. But when I typed in my measurements, it told me I should get an extra large. And I had heard that Frankie's bikinis run very small. So that didn't seem weird to me or anything. And these are entirely too big on me. Like they look like a diaper on me. And when you're spending that much money on a swimsuit, you want it to fit you perfectly, all the right places. You want to feel amazing in it. And this one just isn't it. The top I got with it is their boots top, you know, got the adjustable little straps, kind of just like a straight across style. And this told me to get a large in the top, which, fits me perfectly. I love the top so much. Um, it's that same very soft ribbed material with the silkiness on the inside. There's no cup pads or anything. It's a pretty basic top, but I love the way it fits so much. So then I went back and I was like, all right, I need to try a different swimsuit bottom style, but I need bottoms that go with this top because I love this top so much. So I got their Enzo bottoms in a size large which, I mean, there's still decent coverage. It's more of a cheeky look, but it's not a thong by any means. And it's got a little V detail in the front and the back sits higher up on the hips. I got this in a size large, even though the measurement thing was still telling me to get an extra large. And I was like, ha, I'm not falling for that again. So if you're watching this and have similar measurements to me, I would say get a size large. I mean, the material is a very soft, stretchy material. The shipping for Frankie's, I ordered it on a Monday. I think it got to me on a Saturday. So less than a week again, which is pretty nice. But yeah, as far as the price, I mean, without having sales, these are just not very affordable for most people unless you are looking to just invest in a very, very high quality bikini. So I'll be testing the Enzo bottoms and the boots top out in the water. I'm really nervous because this is such a soft ribbed material that like, I don't wanna ruin it. But like, what's the point of having such a nice bikini if you're not gonna wear it anywhere? All right, so here we've got the Shea bottoms that are just like a little bit too big. You can see in the back, they're just like bunchy extra fabric. These are also like incredibly low ride bottoms. Like I can't get them to sit higher up on my hips. They just like, I don't know, I don't, they just don't look good, you know? Um, they're not comfortable. They don't feel like they're gonna stay on through like water activities. They just feel like they have a lot of extra material, which isn't something you really want on your swimsuit bottoms. You don't want them just like to be saggy hanging off. No, no, no. The top though, I love how it's fitting me. It does have some thinner straps. They are adjustable though, so you're able to make them fit how you want them to. Give yourself however much support you want. Not padded, but I do think it's decently supportive. Let's see it with the better bottoms. All right, there we go. As you can see, they have that V there. It is a little bit subtle though when you actually put it on. Um, cheeky coverage, still not like super, super revealing or anything, but I love the way this one's fitting me. Feels very, very comfortable. Um, yeah, the large, it's not like digging in on my hips. It's also not gonna go flying off when you get hit by a wave like I think the other extra larges would have done. So far it looks cute. I know it said it was fuchsia, but this is definitely like a hot pink color, so. All right, this white fox bikini is going to be the first one we are wearing out into the real world. And yeah, I live in San Diego, so I do a lot of like water activities, going to the beach, doing stuff. So I do want a swimsuit that's going to hold up throughout the day. Yeah, you don't want one that's gonna be just like coming apart at the seams when you actually wear it out in the water or it's gonna be fading a lot. So I will be wearing this out and then I'll come back at the very end to give you my final thoughts on the suit. All right, so today I'm gonna to be wearing the White Fox Boutique swimsuit out kayaking. Chris and I are gonna go out kayaking. It's actually the 4th of July today, so I'm hoping the water's not super crowded. It probably will be, but we'll be able to 
keep our distance from everybody because we're gonna be in a kayak the whole time. We might go to the beach afterwards if the beaches don't look too crowded, but they're going to be. I look really greasy because I already put on my sunscreen. But yeah, I've got the swimsuit on, so I'm excited to see how it holds up. It is now the next weekend and today we are going to Black's Beach, which is a beach here in San Diego that you have to kind of like hike down to. So I'm really excited for that to spend the day there and today I'm wearing the Frankie's bikini and I already put my sunscreen on again, but I also put on the Frankie's bikini glow tint. So this I just put on like my cheeks, my nose, my mouth to bring a little bit more color. I don't know if this is $45. I don't know if it's worth it. It's like a little balm, I guess, just to like Put on your face bring a little bit of color to it I don't know it's kind of cute a little sun kissed but yeah. so we will see how the Frank's bikini holds up I'm back to give you my final thoughts on these two swimsuits, but wow, I had so much fun making this video. Even though it's taken a really long time to make, this has spanned over a couple weeks now. But let me know down in the comments if you liked this kind of video more than my usual reviews, like seeing the stuff I'm reviewing being put through real world scenarios versus me just like trying it on and talking about the fit and sizing stuff because yeah that's honestly why i do these videos trying to help you guys pick a swimsuit that's gonna make you feel good all summer let's talk about white fox first so i wore this swimsuit for like two hours kayaking and then probably like three to four hours at the beach and it was comfortable the whole time the only thing i would say is that the top gave me the slightest bit of under boob so i felt like i did have to keep like pulling it down a little bit but nothing too much that made me like not want to wear it again i mean i do think the coverage was there i had just pulled it tight enough to give me support that it was kind of giving me a little bit of under boob but if you have a larger chest like me, you know that that happens with a lot of swimsuits. I did put this through a wash cycle on Delicate, and I think there's a little bit of snag on the top. It's literally so tiny, I don't even know if you'd be able to see it. It's just like a little snag, and I don't know if that happened throughout the day or in the wash or whatever, but you literally can't notice it unless you like hold it up really close. And honestly, for the price, I think it's a really good swimsuit. It's really cute. I love the little tie details. I was afraid that these like, really thin ties were gonna get uncomfortable over time, but they didn't, it was comfortable and I liked it. Next we will talk about our Frankie's bikini, which also held up really well. I was comfortable throughout the whole day in this. Um, I did hike down the side of like, it wasn't like a mountain or a cliff or anything, but like I had to hike down some rocks. It was like a 10 minute hike down to get to the beach. And I mean, I felt, held up and nothing popped out for the hike and then we walked along the beach and then I was playing in the ocean in the waves. We were there for probably like four or five hours and yeah, I think it held up really well. Um, the material is very soft and stretchy and I did not get any under boob on this one. This one does have like a thicker under bust seam right there. So I think that helped. These bottoms did end up fitting me really well. You know, they stayed on and everything when I was playing in the ocean and diving over waves. I did wash this on a, a delicate hand wash cycle as well, and it held up pretty well. I don't see any like loose threads or anything, but I think I do see the slightest bit of color bleeding, which they did say happens with some of their brighter, bolder colors on their website. So like, yeah, I'm seeing some like darker and lighter patches if you're like analyzing it for it. 
And this soft ribbed fabric is basically just a whole bunch of really, really tiny loops. And there are a few little tiny pieces of fabric that look like they're kind of coming undone. Like they also got snagged or literally so small. I don't even know if the camera will be able to pick it up. Overall, I did really like this suit. It was really cute for pictures. I felt cute all day. It held up nicely. Um, I don't know if I would spend almost $200 on it. That just seems a little unrealistic when the design is honestly not that unique. You could get swimsuits similar to this for a lot cheaper. I mean, obviously not the Frankie's Bikinis quality or this material. I've literally never felt a material like this before. But I don't know, it just depends what you want. If you want to invest a lot of money into a really nice swimsuit, then go for it. But if not, there are other options out there. So yeah, those are my thoughts. That's my experience with these brands. Um, but I liked both of them. Like, I don't think either of them are a bad swimsuit at all. Like, I enjoyed both of my days in these swimsuits. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love doing these swimwear review videos for you, so there will definitely be some more to come. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. And you can let me know down in the comments any other swimwear brands you'd like to see me try out. I'll have some of my other swimsuit review videos on the screen for you here, and I'll see you later.